is going down. It's going down. Council Tucky knows how to party. Council Tucky smells like a farty. <laughs> In the city of all the bluffs. <laughs> I want to... I want to go ahead and just say right now, we're down. We're down at the Council Bluffs Mall. Yep. Mall of the Bluffs, uh, I twenty nine, past Omaha. Getting our spook on. We are at the Madness Haunted House. We're doing a little uh, recording down here with the crowd. And you, a crowd. A little ditty here in the background. A little ditty. Um, I I want to go ahead and say it right now. Um, it's a little cold. It is. Uh, I've got hot cocoa. We've been setting up for a while now, but that's fine. We're doing we're doing good on time. So, hey, Dan. Yeah. Speaking of cold, uh huh. Do you know why chicken breasts don't have nipples? Oh, we've done this joke on the show before. We'll go for it. Actually, I don't remember this one because they poke through the package when you put them in the freezer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're down at Madness Haunted House. We're just going to go ahead and kick it off right now. <laughs> kick it off. This is the Don't Look in the Bed podcast coming to you live. <laughs> Down in the Council Bluffs area, uh, this is the podcast for all things comedy and horror. I'm one of your cold hosts, Dan Wonder. Next to me is... I got Hot Coco, Natalie Rose. And next to her is... One of your excited hosts. And we've got Maybe Eric Man in the cameras. <laughs> you didn't like it yeah, cool. I couldn't hear you, man. Sorry. One of your excited hosts, I'm, I'm a li- <laughs> Vinny Rose. <laughs> I'm a little excited. I'm one of your interrupted hosts, <laughs> Vinny Rose. We've done that. Actually. Vinny interrupted. Um, I'll never tell. Oh, wrong Oh, I, 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 so we're going to talk about some things tonight. Nellie's got a, uh, Nellie's got a little list here. She's, she's just got a laptop with her, but couldn't bring that out. I don't want to bring it out Oh no, Dan, what'd I do with that? <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, okay. He gave him the finger. Yeah. If you can't see, we're also recording this live. So anything can happen, folks. That's anything can happen. Fuck you. Let's all say off. hi. Hello. Oh, they, hi. They're not paying attention to us at all. There's a He's crowd behind us. Oh, I thought you were talking about. Oh. Um, so I want to. What was that? To me, Tarzan. <laughs> I want uh, to. I want to talk a little bit about um, Halloween and and some of our favorite moments. Uh, Natalie, what is one of your favorite? Mo- <laughs> what is one of your favorite moments in Halloween? Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you bear me now? Yeah, I think I turned your mic up accent. Sorry. 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 Uh, what is my what? What is what is one of your favorite Halloween moments? Um. Funniest one. What you got? Funniest one? <laughs> well, okay. I guess the funniest one was. Um, it wasn't funny at the time, but now I can look back on it and laugh. Uh, we had a blizzard one year for Halloween. Do you at remember Dairy that? Dairy Queen. <laughs> Ew. Dairy Queen's gross. You don't like Dairy Queen? I don't. Right. Their ice cream tastes like ice milk. We w- <laughs> it's gross. Is Get that, a real fucking ice isn't cream. Isn't that what it's made out of? No, but it's like really bland. <laughs> we went there a while, like maybe a year or so ago. It was hot out. And so we're like, hey, let's go get a cone. Well, because we were out, out and about and I saw a DQ. And we were like, he, we each got something different even. We're like, ugh. <laughs> ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice water. <laughs> yeah, it was, water. yeah, it was like ice water with cookie dough in it. I'm like, hmm, yum. <laughs> Num. But if Dairy Queen wanted to sponsor us, yeah, I mean, I'll eat them. I love it. I think I, it's delicious. I like them. Now, yeah. with the, now joining forces with the podcast of Don't Look Under the Bed. Yeah, it's a Don't Look Under the Chicken special. We treat you right. <laughs> uh, but we had the blizzard, and there was ice all over the ground. And I dressed up as a penguin, and I had these little flats on, and I kept sliding around up and down the hills. And I was crying, and like a penguin. Do you remember that? No, I have no idea what you're talking um. about. Maybe that was I don't remember what family. you were. Yeah, you were there. Well, me, you, Amanda, and Brandon went out. I mean, we were young. No, I don't. I'd say us, mom, but no, I don't remember the shit at all. I don't Do you? Is this something that you did when we were younger? Yeah, the, no, you know, it was this last year. <laughs> Cheese and rice. No, it was when we were kids. We lived at the Still Mia Doe House. <laughs> and um, Still Meadows for those listening. <laughs> Still me a dough. Still me a dough. Uh, Somebody done stole me a deer. Vance, give me one of your favorite Halloween um, memories. I can tell you my least favorite. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's in like 97. 
That's not what I asked. When we had that fucking blizzard in Cal- Halloween, yeah, it was <laughs> canceled. Was a, when I went out, it was different. Oh, I didn't okay. dress up in a penguin. How many times did you guys go to Dairy Queen? <laughs> my favorite, my favorite Halloween was our first, second Halloween in our home together, and we had a big Halloween party. Oh man! And it was fucking crazy. Somebody stole my bottle of rum shotta. That was a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm still upset about it. <laughs> about it. Yeah, because we were all doing shots. Like, everybody shot, brought something. Shot, 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 and shot. there was, like, somebody brought, like, oh, what's that? Devil's Spitfire, whatever the it's cinnamon. It's the devil's sh- lettuce. Whatever the, the cinnamon shit is that everybody, fireball. Yeah, that's gross. Well, when you mix it with rum shot, it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, okay. And it's delicious. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> so we were each doing shots of that and then shots of the... Uh, Cinnamon toast. How are you? Good. So you were doing shots of cinnamon toast crunch. Yes, and, and then like the party was going down, and somebody left with my bottle of rum shot. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't Natalie, fucking done. <laughs> I set up karaoke. Oh yeah. Natalie sang with Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa okay. and I sang a song. It was, it was a big party, like big. It's a dead man's party. We were singing that on game night the other night. I've been listening to fucking Oingo Boingo Oingo for Boingo. weeks now, and prepping for Halloween. By goodness. the way, uh, Dan. Yeah, I'm over we, here. We all went to Dan's house the other night. Oh yeah. The other day. The other day. And we played a board, a tabletop game. Uh huh. Yeah. The witch game. What was it called? Salem. Salem, 1692. It was 1962. It was really fun. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. it I was a lot of fun. I did not think that people would get as into it as they did. Why? I, I don't know. God, like, your expectations of us are like <laughs> minimum. I like the singing. You're a witch girl. You're, You're a, a witch frog girl. in a jar, <laughs> and you're gonna burn anyway. You can't survive when they look at you funny. You won't survive when they look at you funny. It was um, a lot of fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, shout out my favorite Halloween. Uh, Nobody asked, but okay. <laughs> okay, uh, it was a blizzard, <laughs> and it was a, there was a blizzard, and then during that blizzard there was another blizzard. No, my favorite Halloween has to be in 2006. We went to my friend's house, <laughs> and it was a huge party, and all a lot of my friends were drunk. I didn't I don't drink very much. Um, at all, in fact. Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't, though. I don't. No, you don't. It, heart, it gives me fucking heartburn. Everything gives you heartburn. Yeah, breathing gives me heartburn. But <laughs> and usually when I go, I go, I got the heartburn. <laughs> and I sit there and I try to grasp, grasp my chest. Yeah, we do a podcast. Now yeah, we're YouTubers and a podcast. Natalie's talking to some child. Oh, wow. Sorry. Okay. So, as you know, this is a live event. So, we're going to have people... Obviously come in. up and we talk put a to us because we're up. so cool. Yeah, somebody will be dismembered in the haunted house. <laughs> yeah, there's gardening <laughs> going soon. on. If you can hear the chainsaw, they're cutting down some bushes. We want to give a quick thank you to Eric, who's been helping us with this. Yeah, he's our he's our mediator. Awesome guy. And Eric, he's our security. Eric over there, that's our Eric. Um, but the uh, we we're having a big party, and my friend was like, "Hey, let's go, let's go do this thing." And I'm like, "What are we doing?" And he goes, "Just get in the truck." So me and two friends pile in the front seat of a truck. <coughs> Heard this. And, uh, what? No, I you talked didn't. to Steven. Huh? I've talked to Steven. Oh, Steven told you about this? Awesome. So anyway, <laughs> for those of you who weren't who weren't around for this, uh, they, we wanted to go. My friend had a huge truck, and he had big wheels on it, so he could run over shit. So we were just plowing through neighborhoods in the trash nice. and just knocking on. Tr- and I thought, what a piece of shit. I was like 16, dude. Like, what? <laughs> But we, we were doing that, and I was like, uh, hey, run over this big pile wait, of trash wait, wait, right wait. here. Er, skeet skirt. Uh, in 2006, let's do a little quick math. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I wasn't 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was I? 20-something? Well, it was 13 20 years ago, and how old are you now? I'm 34 now. Okay, so you were... Thanks for uh, making me admit that on the air. What? Thanks for making me... I think me we've a- all put that on the air. You were 16. <laughs> I was young. I was younger. I was an asshole. Okay, He's a young it. boy, and he can't do math. He's a young boy. <laughs> I won't learn algebra anyway. Woo! Did you call it algebra? Algebra. Man, I'm trying to do some algebras. Man, I need some Benadryl for my allergy, bros. <laughs> Man, I got allergy, one, bros. What's up? <laughs> I got allergy, bros. I, I can't be by this cat. I got allergy, bros. 
but we ended up smashing this <coughs> gigantic <coughs> monitor, and the la- and then the crash was so not loud. This no, not this one. The crash was so loud that it woke one of the neighbors up, <coughs> and we ended up getting the hell out of there and going to their neighborhood. Anyway, we uh, my friend was like, "Hey, let's go steal this pumpkin," and I was like, "How about we just chop it instead?" So we because we had a machete, so I bail out the truck. And then my friend's driving kind of slow as I'm running behind it. And I ran. I chopped the pumpkin in half as the dude's coming out of his house to take his trash out. And he was like, hey! What about like, this, too? And I was like, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I, was, I started booking it. And, he, and my friend Rollins dying laughing. And he's, like, driving a little faster than what I can run. And then I'm like, dude, I can't run that fast. And he's like, you better catch up because he's calling the cops. So I end up jumping in the back of the truck. After I knocked this pumpkin over, and he's shaking his fist in the distance as we're running away, like the guy from, <laughs> like the dude from Happy Gilmore nice. when they break his window. You boys are gonna pay for that. You guys, boys gonna pay for that window. Um, that was a fun time. So that was one of my That favorites. was F U N. You remember when you guys? It was that blizzard one night, and it wasn't Halloween, and you guys were going downtown to wreck my car. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and you weren't supposed to remember that. She- I. <laughs> It was a Monte Carlo. Mikey remember remembers that. that. I I'm felt sure. I was, terrible. I was so scared you guys were hurt. I felt awful about That's that. That's fine. I still do. Still I still have the car I bought after that. Yeah, I know, which <laughs> is kind of weird. <laughs> Did your off. niece get a new car? <laughs> like three years ago. <laughs> Can we just talk? Oh, like three years ago, we're digging through shit. She finds the old stereo out of that car. She's like, Can you get the CD out of this? <laughs> I, wanna, I can't remember there? what it was. Oh, no. There's a CD oh, social sucking. distortion. Nice. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Which one? The one with the skeleton on it. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. I have to see it, obviously. But then um, Third, now, now album, my my new car has a CD stuck in it. I have no idea what it is. And we bought a new stereo. Kesha. In it. Oh, God. I, pro- I don't know. It's I don't know what it is. And it won't come out because it's a six-dish disc in dash player that's never worked right and i i put a cd in it and it got stuck this is before like we had the cool phones and stuff that play the music on your mobile device so now uh, we're, that's not us i'm sorry right around there vip we work here natalie works here here's where we're gonna go we're gonna go here and here we're walking and we're walking oh hi yeah, guys, everybody, it could get a little confusing. Yeah. We are, real quick, thank you to Madness Haunted House. And where at, Dan? And Council Bluffs next to the, in the Ball of Bluffs, actually. Right next to the, it's $5 it's actually in the Ball store. Of Bluffs. I mean, I want to go in that $5 store. I want to know, what's, too. There's I wanna know what's $5. Okay, so there's this store over here, and I'm so excited because I want to go in there. It's called It's Five. And there are these... <laughs> It's it's not even like it's just children it's that fucking are five weird because there's like all these bins and you like and it tells you on the sign dig through the bins everything is five dollars and then you can come on certain days where it's like two for five or three for five or whatever and I'm like what's in those bins <laughs> I don't want to buy anything I just want to know what's in the bin it's a litter box <laughs> we just in house dog bin. food here this is a warehouse that's all it is I'm sorry to break it to you that's all we have um. Yeah, we're in Council Bluffs. And it might get confusing because as we're recording this, we have people Back coming up to us, talking to us. <coughs> um, <clears throat> so, I want to talk a little bit about another haunted house that I've got, I've seen here. Uh, and I know you guys know about this haunted house. Yeah, we watched a documentary on this. <coughs> I didn't know there was a documentary. My friend, uh, Brittany at work, Brittany. actually brought this up to me. And she said, you got to check this out. It's a haunted house where essentially this guy puts you in these horrible situations that you yeah, want out of. And if you go through the whole shebang, you win $20,000. Yeah. And I was like, I got to fucking see this. So I ty- start typing it in. And all I can say is, I'm not going to name this guy. He's a fucking pervert. The guy's a pervert. He loves BDSM. And he loves to have... Uh, it's Bee Wonder, everyone, in case you're wondering. Yeah, it's Bee Wonder. <laughs> Bee Wonder. Ladies and gentlemen, Bee. Now you guys can see him in person, in the flesh. You're like that majestic creature that's randomly on the podcast. <laughs> Actually, the whole gang's here. Yeah. Um, but the dude is, he's into shit, so. Did that come unplugged? 
Awesome. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Take two. And <laughs> Take two. we're back. Um, but uh, he's he's into shit. I don't... And my friend's like... He, he's, she's like, would you do it? I'm like, yeah, because I want to see how far I could go. But yeah. the, I, I was watching some of the interviews, and the guy's like... I couldn't do it. They they put me in this. They put me in the desolation tank, and you know they made me eat cockroaches and stuff. I'm like, this guy's a fucking pervert. Like that's what this really is. He's living out his fantasies and he's getting paid for it. But you know what? He could be murdering people for real. <coughs> that's fu- they, you know. Well, I don't. Uh, tomato, tomato. You know, like yes, he's doing it. <laughs> tomato, he's tomato. doing it legally, technically, and Lightly. people are doing it with him. And but look, if you're an adult, you can consent. But as I was watching it, I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I want to do it. So I'm going to call him out right now. You know who you are. If you listen to us. I'm sure he us, does. Or you know. Yeah. If, if you want to fly me down there, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. do it. We'll do it. And I want to see if I can do it for real. Really because you likely don't have a deprivation tank big enough to hold my ass. <laughs> He's like, well, I was going to put him in this blindfold, but he it doesn't fit. just hand you the 20 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Step Here. on into the deprivation horse tank. I just show up and I just go, I got a booklet of all my ex-girlfriends. There's nothing worse you could do to me. <laughs> He's like, oh, I think I could find something. I'm like, no, nope. <laughs> Man. You didn't know where I used to work. <laughs> I worked at OTC. <laughs> you don't know me. I worked there. That place sucks. Yeah. Fuck them. I drove a... <laughs> I don't even care if they're... I, I drove a order care. picker, the your big tall forklift. Your and your mother. <laughs> Brandon fucking your brother hated that and place. your mother. Yeah. I did not. I applied, but um, <laughs> I didn't I didn't take the job. <laughs> You're very lucky you didn't. Because it's <laughs> they fucking offered, It was like for the call center, and I was like, mm, no, I'm good. I'm going to go work I worked the truck. Go work somewhere else that's shitty. I worked the trucks, and I had to load the fucking trucks with a bunch of assholes. And they would jam the boxes down the chute. And I'm like, and they'd be like, slam it on the side, jam in the chute. I'm like, oh, come on. You know you're doing it on purpose. I can't load faster than one person can. So you're building walls. And then you just, you make a, you make a, you make a perfect wall. And you take the top out. And you just chuck boxes were they, there. Were they like, come on, Wonder, you got three sets of hands. Use them. Yeah, yeah. I'm using my feet, too. <laughs> I can't lift it. I'm lifting boxes with my butt cheeks. <laughs> Oh, smell. it got all, it got quiet when I said that. Nobody was talking. <laughs> Oriental Trading truly is the fun company. <laughs> what the fuck company? Yeah. Did Oriental you see the Oriental or the uh, uh, undercover bosses Oriental Trading one? I uh-uh. did. Yeah, I never saw that. You guys, you guys are watching stuff I've never seen. We don't. Okay, we don't really watch that show. But it, he's like, I want to watch it because it's on Oriental Trading because it was in Omaha. Was it bad? Yeah, they're he pretty. He said rough, he was going to make some changes. But I don't, I don't know. I don't Who? work there. The owner. The CEO. I don't know his name. Because Juan Nobby, the guy he who knows he Nobby's own, dead. He's, he's dead, isn't he? I don't know. I don't have my upkeep of the Oriental train. I think he sold it to Colonel Sanders. <laughs> you don't have your fucking handbook that we passed out? Let me see. <laughs> he's she's like, okay, first. Oh, this isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I left wait, it wait, wait, wait. I left it at home. Mm, premium fresh cut. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Is it in this water bottle? Um, so, Nellie, before we... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's a codex. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. All right, Dan Brown. Uh, before we jump into yeah. it, what is what is our topic for today? Well, I thought since we were at this haunted location live at the Madness Town and House in Council Bluffs. We talk um, about smoked meats and cheeses. Yeah. So we have Hickory <laughs> Farms coming out. They're going to bring us some sausages. Some My crab. favorite oh, socks. so great. Uh, we're going to talk about phobias. Speaking, dun, dun. speaking of sausage. No. <laughs> one time I was one time I was on Not a flight. Speaking of sausage. Oh, one time I was on a flight, and the in-flight meal was your choice of uh, white meat chicken or German sausage. Uh-huh. I was sitting in the back of the plane. Yeah. So I was hoping for the breast, but prepared for the worst. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Um, our, our topic is, is phobias. Phobias. P H O B I A. Do you guys ever welcome America? Do you guys ever? Uh, Microwave your underwear. Uh, microwave our I'm what? Sorry, what? <laughs> microwave your underwear in the winter. Oh, they're trimming the bushes again. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh God, those look lovely. <laughs> if you can hear the screaming and the noises in the background, that's somebody getting chopped in half. Somebody's scared. That's what they do with all the rejects in, uh, in uh, what's it called? Council Bluffs. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> the fence is going to fall yeah, down. I almost lost my shit. <laughs> Are you, I found it. Do you, <laughs> There it is. Well, you know what they say, shit in one hand. 
<laughs> moving on. And moving on. Then just shit in your hand. Uh, don't seriously. Do you guys ever microwave your underwear? Hey, hey. Microwave what? You microwave your underwear. No. Your underpants. You've never done that? No, and if you've ever put your underpants in the microwave and then I've eaten anything out of that <laughs> microwave, I'm gonna punch it's you It's clean in the underwear. Face. It's not like I put it I don't I don't set it on the plate and, and serve Let's it. Let's ask B. B. You ever microwave your underwear? No. <laughs> I like how close he got Brandon, no. Brandon, can you go beat those kids up over there? <laughs> They're doing the floss. <laughs> so, B, I think you should know, because you stay while you're in town visiting, and we're all so lucky. Uh, he microwaves his underwear. I know. I didn't say I did it now. He doesn't have plates. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't. I threw all you my threw- I threw all my dishes <laughs> away because I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> they so if old. I hadn't brought home for a plate place the other night, we'd have been eating <laughs> nope. out of the cat You've been eating out of your fucking hand. I don't want to do this. Just fuck them. You're special. <laughs> hey, you could have done worse. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? What? Because I do dishes. Oh. You could have married a guy like Dan. <laughs> Did you say I should marry my brother? <laughs> yeah, gross, Vance. <laughs> I know it's Halloween, but come on. It's One not time Valentine's Day. One time I went to the casino and this lady asked if we were on a date. Oh, no. You remember that? When we were at the casino and the lady asked if we were on a date. Oh, gosh, she was so embarrassed. Oh, no. I was like, you were like, well, if I was, I don't think it's going very well. <laughs> we just found out we were related, so we're going to give it one more try. <laughs> one more try. <laughs> um, I, have, I still have a cold for some reason. I don't know why. Well, it's cold out here, too. Well, <laughs> it's not... <laughs> Um, all right, so yeah. let's uh, let's jump into it a little bit here. Let's do this. Into what? <laughs> Natalie, uh, are we going anywhere? Are we on, are we on our truck? Oh, yeah. Or? Today's podcast is brought to you by Sweetums. If you can't beat them, Sweetums. <laughs> I'm Derry Murbles, and this is Thought for Your Thoughts. Oh, man. Hey, this water tastes funny. That tastes good. Tastes like well water. <laughs> It's, what? It's a brand name. It's, I didn't just fill it out of the toilet. We can't say what brand name it is, but it is a brand. It I rub, I ripped all the stickers off. That's how I know. Stickles. <laughs> Stickles. Stickles. Because apparently, even though we, no one from the place that we bought these from will ever know, but I still did it anyway because I'm smart. Yeah. All right, Nally. Um. So I thought it'd be fun. I just I just looked up a whole bunch of phobias, and um, I'm gonna read them on said air. And then I, some of them I have some stuff for. Other ones, it's just like, here's what it is. Because, you know, haunted houses like this, they kind of feed off of things that are scary. So I feed um, off tacos. Oh, man. I am so just hungry. I want some Taco we have Bell. Not I'm eating Taco Bell. Hey, like, fuck that. I had lunch, and that was it. I'm Does like, B have any phobias? Brandon? B. Oh, he's over there. Huh. Be gone. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Um, Be I, I think that he's scared of heights. Oh, okay. Which I I understand. What's he saying? What's he saying? Um, okay. Bye. We have sorry. We have people walking up to the mic. Our family's walking away from us. All right, there. Yeah, bye. Hold on. Leaving, hold, uh, on hold on, Brandon, real quick before Brandon, she go goes. To the mic. <clears throat> what are some of your phobias? Uh, definitely heights. <laughs> I told you. And meeting new people. <laughs> <laughs> how about uh, how about Amanda? Amanda, yeah, there's the microphone. Amanda, what's some of your what's some of your phobias? Amanda, you look gaunty. You're yeah. welcome. My phobias are my brothers <laughs> and dolls. She loves dolls. She wants I to go to the doll museum dolls. over here. She likes when I send her pictures of dolls. Yeah, we send her scary pictures. I said you like when I send you pictures of dolls. I absolutely do not. They haunt me forever. <laughs> I've sent some other pretty it's bad pictures. Really unfortunate pictures. <laughs> what about I the received? last picture I sent you? No. <laughs> What I was got, this? I got him Super started, unfortunate. He, we found these pictures of all these creepy ass dolls. I'm like, send these to Amanda one by one oh, every no. night before bed. You mean the creepy person in my back seat or yes. the doll in my back seat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vinny does Photoshop if anybody ever needs it done. Holy shit. The I meme s- was, would you, no. would you lock them out of your heart but forget to lock your car? <laughs> <laughs> it was really unfortunate. That was great. I love that picture. Love you guys. Bye. Bye guys. I love you too. 
I'll uh, I'll talk to you after I get done with this. <laughs> Via text. <coughs> Shit, my bad. I hit the. This cemetery button. is dead. <coughs> Hello. People are trying to get in here. Oh wait, they're dying, dying to get dying in. Dying to get God. in. God. <laughs> Do you Dad used to say it when he used to drive out one cemetery up on military. It's like people are just dying to get in there. So I started saying that to his daughter every time we drive by his cemetery. Like, you're wrong. <laughs> Like, but they are dying, though. My dad yeah. used to say, point at a cemetery and say, you know how many dead people are in there? I'm like, no. He's like, all of them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what, is, what an astute observation, all Daddy. <coughs> all right, Nally. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to read some off here, and more, there's going to be a test at the end. It's uh, 400 I'm not questions. Notes. Fuck that. 57 essays. I have a phobia of quizzes. Okay, so tagophobia. It is the fear of being buried alive. Uh, Pediophobia is the fear of dolls. So, oh, Amanda left. Yeah, Amanda left. <laughs> she went um, over there. Be- be- being buried alive is probably one of the worst ways for me to go. Yeah, I would I, like I, that. I don't think I would. I, I'm good. I wouldn't survive that. <laughs> Unless you're in Kill Bill. Or you know, I punch the coffin. would not want to be burned alive. I would rather be burned than buried. How about drown? Would you rather be burned, buried, or drowned? Drown first, fire second, buried last. Dead fucking last. Put everything else in front of that, and buried as last. I have a huge claustrophobia. I that would... means I am afraid of claustres. Yeah. Yeah, he's got claustrophobia. He doesn't like any of them. He singularly, they're all okay. But... White claustres, black claustres. Easy. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Back it up. Big right. clusters, little clusters. I think I would be scared of burning, buried alive, and then drowning. Drowning would be euphoric. Yeah. Burning is screaming. That's why people... Bird is What's crying. that thing called when you're on a, on a ship in the middle oh. of the ocean and you like... Hypoxia? Yeah, where you like just go into the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're talking about... Because it's like... Drowning. You, no, 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 no. There's a term for it where you're like... Like, so let's say you're on a cruise ship and you're looking down at the water and you look for so long that you just go overboard. Oh, it's, it's like, like the abyss? Yeah, but there's like a medical huh. term for it. I wonder what that is. I'm not smart. Um, I was talking about being on a ship like in space where you get hypoxia or something. Oh, no, I meant like a, a military craft or something like that. Military there's a term craft. for it and I can't think of the name of it. But, um, okay, uh, so the pediophobia. Some people might experience a full-blown panic attack upon sighting a doll. Uh, still others may live in constant fear of dolls. The following physical and psychological symptoms may be present in a phobic. Uh, rapid breathing, elevated heartbeat, dry mouth, uh, feeling like being choked, <laughs> shivering and trembling, freezing on the spot. Chainsaws. Chainsaws. I thought um, you said pancake <laughs> pancake attack. Oh, <laughs> I man, was like... I'm- I want a pancake. I want a fucking pancake. We so went to Valas the other day, and I got apple cinnamon pancake syrup. Can I just tell you how excited I am to try that? <laughs> Where'd you go? Valas. Oh, they have that there? Yeah. Why didn't anybody awesome. tell me? I bought it on the way out. I didn't even see it. I was like, oh. Um, and then the last one is crying, screaming, or trying to flee, etc. Go ahead. How's it going, man? It's going good. Good, good. Going well. What's your name? Uh, Corbin. Hi, Corbin. Corbin, Hi. Corbin Hi. Dallas! Corbin, <laughs> Corbin, Corbin Dallas Multipass. I was actually named after that movie. That's nice. the shit. Yeah, Corbin, yeah. this is going to be on... Uh, shut up a minute. This is going to be on the internet. Is that okay? Okay. All that's right. Fine. We just need your permission that's to use your image and audio. Sure. Yeah. All right. Do I All get right. money? What's that? Do I get paid? No. No. Paid. Well, you oh, get paid what we get paid. Oh, you get paid. That's fine. It's <laughs> fucking zero dollars, dude. <laughs> Volunteer it's hours. Uh, so check out my friend's uh, new up-and-coming band. Um, I, I believe their prototype name is Ch- Chunky Mouthwash. Oh, <laughs> also, God. Uh, also going under the, 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 the alternative, alternative name, uh, Minivan Special. Uh, that sounds like rapey. B- <laughs> BB that sounds Gang fucking two. rapey. It, it's it's a you've got to talk to him about Are you, that. Who's who's the band member? Uh, the band leader. That's the one. Come here, buddy. Yeah. What's up? What's your name? God. My name is Kyle. <laughs> What's up, Napoleon? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I get that all the time. Oh man, I'm just <laughs> fucking with you. What's your guys' favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie? Uh, probably The Incredibles. Uh, that's a horror movie. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen The Last Unicorn? Yes. It gives me existential horror. <laughs> you ever heard of that boy in really? the pajamas? Yeah, uh, we don't. I think he's fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it makes it makes me sad. Or what about uh, the the old movie, The Willow, or something? I love Willow. Willow? They yeah. turn into trees at Willow! the end. Yeah. Sharknado's pretty spooky. Sharknado is crazy. Which one? I, don't, like I, think, five. I like the I don't sixth one. Believe, I don't believe him. Yeah. I think, look at these fucking lion. Look at that face. That's a lion face right there. Lion That's face. That's what my dad used to say. <laughs> he doesn't say it anymore. Though, Before he because, left. Yeah, he's not around anymore. Yeah. Either is our dad. So. <laughs> is ours. Dads are scarce these days. He went to the store and never came back. <laughs> are you guys all? Are, are you guys all in the band? Yeah, yeah, I'm obviously the lead singer. Awesome. As you can see. We That's need to get front just saying, man. You probably were. Yeah, yeah. I, I play the theremin. Here's the tambourine <laughs> player. Right. I like this you guy. So I play the xylophone. Oh, nice. Right on. I major in ukulele. Wow. I am actually uh, an electric kazoo the player. You, 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 okay. He's like, uh, I minored in that. We need a game. Hey, band check out our lead single. Off our new album called Colonoscopy. Ooh. Colonoscopy. Nice. I don't know if any of this is real. Once you're 40, don't look back. I think yeah. that it's got to be R&B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit of reggae <laughs> infused <laughs> yeah. with some reggae. Jewish metal. Yeah. We, we hit the little riffs with the theremin. We just kind of do the little pokies with the hands. Awesome. Yeah. Are you guys just here for this, or are you guys just like standing in line? Uh, we just we like lines. The whole point is for me to be more wittier than you because you're younger. How old are you? 36. I'm 82. <laughs> That's not. 69. He's 80. at least 68. <laughs> I don't believe this fucking guy. I'm at, least, I'm at least 68. I really do like your name, though. Thank you. Is your dad? Did your dad name you that? He, he did name me that. That's. Yeah. I, he wanted, is he I, here? He's he's not here. here. Fuck. No. Did he leave you too? He. Uh, <laughs> yes. That, that's he's just on a business trip for three years. Yeah, he, he went out, uh, he, he said he wanted to get the special edition of uh, The Fifth Element uh, in 1996. There you go. So it's like if the average person walks four miles an hour and the gas station is two miles away, a lot of us take aren't dad 15 miles to go. <laughs> 15 years to go get cigarettes. Exactly. Yeah, your dad's been gone a long fucking time, dude. Yeah. yeah. You want to hear the story of how my dad left? Of course. I was five years old, and I woke up to a little rustle in my living room, mm -hmm. and I go out there, and my dad's just in the doorway. I'm like, hey, dad, where are you going? And he's like, oh, I'm just going to get some cigarettes. And I said, but what's with the suitcase? He just says, it's a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> that was the last time I ever saw him. Boom, boom, chink. <laughs> like, like, sorry you for your seen, loss. Have you ever seen Treasure Planet? Yeah. yeah. I love Treasure Planet. Movie. His life was, uh, the movie was based on oh, his Oh, nice. Life. So I've you've been to space. So, so, yeah, except what? it's not in space. It's all fucking twi I I said twice. I <laughs> twice. He's like, yeah, I've been there twice. You ever heard of Mars? No. Been no. there, done that. No. Mars, like, Mars Bruno Mars? No, the candy bar. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right. So you've been, you've been to candy bar. My dad bar. owns it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Have fun. Have fun. All right. Don't hey, be scared. If you guys need a kazoo player, hit me up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Application. Uh -huh. Electric kazoo right okay. here. Yeah, our next album is actually called uh, Johnson's and the Kazoo. So that'll fit right in. I just, everything yeah. he says is complete bullshit. It's like, it. that's not true. His dad actually left one time. <laughs> one time. One time. For the yeah, yours came back, though. That's all it takes. Oh. We're done. Sorry. He came on somebody's bed. Oh. It's like I was reaching for a fist. All right. Oh my God. That Keep was going, Nat. I don't know. I don't think I could follow that act. Um, okay. So. How much of that am I going to have to edit out? <laughs> Som somnophobia is a fear of falling asleep. Somnophobia comprises of often irrational, excessive fear of sleep. Somnophobes may hear falling may fear falling asleep because they associate going to bed with dying. It also may result from a feeling of lack of control or from suffering repeated nightmares. Somnophobics may also fear losing time while sleep. So, all right, if you're all right, technically, I'm when the you're, exact opposite. <laughs> no, 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 I'm a somnoph. When you're falling asleep and you fall asleep finally, yeah. I sometimes wake up because I'm snoring so loud. Yeah, And I'm like, too. and I get my heart start, my heart jumps. And I'm like, God damn it. I think that's called um, being fat. That's, that's what it is. That's called sleep fatnia. It's, it's called sleep. Twinkies <laughs> under your pillowcase. <laughs> I got a CPAP. I, I ain't scared to admit sometimes it. Sometimes I, um, when I sleep, if I go to sleep so hard, my knee will jerk. Yeah. And I'll kick. And I have cats that lay all over me at night, so that's not nice. <laughs> yeah. And then I get the claw on my leg. <laughs> um, I get up in the middle of the night to eat. So does he. 
I, I do. I, he does. He's a, a cereal eater. You know, I don't wake up to eat. I wake up to pee, and then I figure <laughs> might, as well eat. might as well make a sausage. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's out there making a six-course meal. I, 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 when, when you wake up in the middle of the night and you grab a dollop of peanut butter. A dollop of peanut butter. And you're like, fuck, i got to brush my teeth again. And you're like, damn it. So you, you brush your teeth, and oh, then you go so back sick. to bed. And then you wake up again, and you're like, man, what's the fucking cereal? So you can take a handful of cereal like a fucking gorilla. I think you might have a problem. I bet, <laughs> no, here's the thing, Dan. Instead of milk in your cereal, you scope. <laughs> Ew. Minty fresh almonds. It saves time. Minty pebbles. You're real smart. <laughs> Minty pebbles. You're real smart. It's true. I need to run to the store. I ran out of milk. What are you getting? Listerine. And then he did. He came. He lived with that guy's dad. <coughs> that kid's an asshole. I'm looking for the vitamin. I hope he D. fucking listens to this and realizes that. I'm looking for the vitamin D Listerine. <laughs> I just, I love Listerine. How about skim Listerine? Dude, I, I tried mouthwash, though. I bought some Colgate stuff, and it's like the, as soon as you put it in your mouth, it foams the fuck up. It's and got peroxide it, it's like, in it. It's got, it's got foam in it. It's, it's fucking memory foam. It's styrofoam. I, I put it in my mouth, and I was like, like that, and I can't, I know this is going to sound bad. I can't gargle. <laughs> shut up. Everyone shut the hell up. I can't, though. It makes me want to vomit. That's not what somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, keep going. God damn it. Um, I think I have this because I don't like it. Um, it's wipeophobia. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Can I talk about one of uh, Natalie's un, un uh, relevant fear? Well, not irrelevant. Unrational fears. Irrational. Irrational. Unrational. It's unrational <laughs> over here. Unrational. All right. We're at the Manasana's house, and it's unrational. <laughs> it's uh, she's afraid of milk. Um, no, she's no, no. I know this answer. She's not afraid of milk. She's afraid of somebody drinking out of milk, them setting it down, Natalie thinking it's her milk, and then her drinking it, and then some going, that's my milk, and then she immediately vomits when it hits the back of her throat. Don't look at my cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't drink milk anymore because I, I had a surgery, and I the thought of milk makes me want to guess. So we switched to an uh, almond. Almonds. It got so bad, it's the only person that could touch, look, or even like do anything with my milk cup was Vance. Or myself. I would uh-huh. even get a little grossed out if I touched it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> She's got a straw I, from across the room. <laughs> it's fucking. It's no. what's. It's Daniel Plainview. Yeah. I drink your milk. <laughs> like, so like. From across the room. His kids would go like pretend like they're going to touch it. I wouldn't. No. Nope, wouldn't even drink it after that because like, you got too close. Is it because don't look at my cup. Is it because of the consistency? I don't know because I'm fine with like. Milkshakes or water, or it's, but if somebody wants to tap. touch, if somebody touches your cup when you're drinking a milkshake, you're still gonna drink that. Yeah, and it's just milk. It's so just I've known milk. this about her for a long time, but we've never gotten Man down to the therapy too. of it. Oh yeah, Man has it. Real yeah, one bad. time when we were all eating uh, at the casino. Yeah, I told her that <laughs> somebody spilled their milk, right? Uh-huh. And they went to wipe it up, and I said that they wring the rag <laughs> oh, out yeah. in a bucket and then pour it back it's in everybody's disgusting, milk. Dude. She threw up. <laughs> I throw up from brushing my teeth because I'll accidentally swallow the toothpaste because I'm like. Lum, lum, lum. I think everybody swallows too. I mean, they say you're not supposed to, but it's like it's not possible. Well, to they're not putting swallow. they're putting epicac in it now. Epicac. <laughs> <laughs> epicac. All right, keep going, Allie. Sorry. Doesn't the word oh, yeah. epicac just make you want to vomit? Oh, oh, that's a cool mask. Here's a creepy clown. I wish we could have children on our podcast. Well, that sounded weird. <laughs> Never mind, Natalie. Keep going. And reading. I mean, I have a phobia Holy. of children. <laughs> I do too. Oh, gross. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I have this. It's tripophobia. Tryptophobia, right? Trip. Okay. Try. All right. I, I don't know. Um, a phobia that sounds that thousands claim to have, despite not being a diagnosis in the APA's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, Fifth Edition. It results <laughs> in a deep fear of anxiety for those who have it when looking at a small cluster of holes. Yes, uh, that's tryptophobia. That's disgusting. <laughs> it is. That's okay. disgusting. Like lotus flower? Yeah. It's in my head. It's in my it's, head. It's, uh, it's like Swiss cheese. What about a beehive? Or a honeycomb? Honeycomb's different because of the shape. Yeah. And it doesn't It doesn't kind of, it co- doesn't convex, it yeah. concaves, and it's a different look. Somebody yeah. took one of those lotus flowers and photoshopped its skin color and put it on somebody's back. Yeah. It was so... It's disgusting. I have nightmares about that still. Yeah. Because because you feel like it's going to... You're, you're like you can run your hand across what it. What if it's all over your face? Stop. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to die right here. I don't like holes in things. Either. Like um, holes in... Or, or bumps. 
Like yeah. I have a skin tag and I want to fucking tear it off. Tear I off. hate them. No, right, I can't. Right on this podcast, do it, it right hurts. now. It hurts. Um, okay, so hemophobia is a fear of blood. Um, <laughs> I fear bloods, man. Oh, fight. Oh. I'm, I'm a grip. <laughs> I picked like the worst topic because you got to pronounce these words. I just fucking, I just stacked on on film. I haven't done this since '95. Sorry, Tell me where we from? <laughs> Omaha, Nebraska. Where you at? Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Ophidiophobia is a fear of snakes. I don't really have a fear of snakes. <coughs> I don't either, but I know a lot of people that do. Your sister does. Your other sister does. I kind of said that like uh, Clarice. I don't have a fear of snakes. I don't have a fear of snakes. <laughs> snakes. Mr. Mr. What's the answer? Snakes. <laughs> What's the answer? What, what about Sean Connery? <laughs> Snakes. 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 Spiders. Spiders and snakes. Let me hit you with some other knowledge. Let me hit you with <laughs> spiders. I think somebody a... fell off a curb and got scared. Oh, no, it was a clown. Somebody got hit by a car. <laughs> thump, thump. Um, heliophobia is a fear of trees. Heliophobia involves an irrational fear of wood, forest, or trees. It's unrational. It's like wood. <laughs> yeah, the unrational fear. Um, it is often caused by exposure to films and fairy tales, which involve scary woods in childhood. Many sufferers don't grow out of phobia of the phobia. Chance on Gretel phobia. Yeah, <laughs> and walk in a scenic setting can trigger the anxiety. Heliophobes suffer extreme anxiety when they are simply think about wood. So, <coughs> I, I, did you say helo or helio? Did somebody say? Hilo, oh God. Hilo or hylophobia? Okay, it's because I was about to say heliophobia is a phobia of the sun. Uh, I think I have that on here, maybe. Because that reminds me of uh, bench warmers. Yeah. <laughs> the sun. The sun. That guy had agoraphobia, right? No, he had. Agoraphobia is when you don't want to leave your house. He was scared of the sun. So you don't want to leave your house. <laughs> we'll get to that, I'm sure. Um, oh, I don't know if I put that one on here. Uh, Omphalophobia. Omphalophobia is a fear of the navel. It is a fear of belly buttons. Sufferers are afraid to have their belly buttons touch or touch another person's belly button. The fear is often, <laughs> the fear is often linked with belly buttons association to the umbilical cord in a mother's womb. Um, it can be repulsed just by seeing or thinking about a belly button. Yeah, I can understand that. So when I'm in there digging my lint out, I get scared. It's like, an, it's like a gateway to their intestine. The other way. <laughs> what about Pillsbury Dough no Boy? <laughs> I love him. They throw him in the oven. <laughs> uh, nomophobia is a fear of being without mobile phone coverage. Oh, that's uh, 2010 to 2019 for children. What? Kids do not want to be away from their fucking oh, phone. Oh, I know. Like that. I can put well, my phone do down. do adults. No, I can. I can yeah. put it down. When I mean, I'm, most adults. When I'm going to sleep, I have it with me. When I'm bored at home, I'll to get on it. But at work, I don't ever fucking touch the thing. I I have my phone out like at work, and uh, I Bluetooth to my headphones for Spotify. That's different. But I I'm not messing with my phone. Yeah, we just have on our computers. We can just listen to music. But yeah, I, but otherwise, I don't text. Who the fuck texts all day? You have a computer. Damn, you're fancy. I might, I might text Natalie once in a while. But Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now, if okay. it's if it's like if it's like an emergency conversation, I understand. But I think most people these days, and I think most people would agree, most people are fucking on their phones way too much. They are. Yeah, I, I agree. think so. And I saw this chick driving here. She's fucking texting, swerving all the goddamn roads. So I got up oh, next like to this her. Morning. I rolled my window down and I got close up to her window. I pounded on the fucking window while I was driving next to her. I'm like, put your fucking phone down. And she's like, she's like, why? Why? Why am I doing? Why? I'm well, tweeting. Fuck it. Do you know where Sorensen is? No. Uh, well, well Sorensen Parkway. Yeah, okay. I know where that's at. Uh, I was driving. I was riding my motorcycle up Sorensen one day, and this lady was like swerving into my lane. So, uh, I. I waited till I got right up next to her. She was talking on her phone, and I like killed the bike, right? And it was before I fixed the backfire on it. Right. And I got right up next to her at the stop sign, and I dumped the clutch out and then hit it again. Yeah. And gave it gas, and it went pop, bro. <laughs> and she fucking freaked out, and her phone went out the window. Nice. It's like you're a piece of shit. <laughs> as, you're, as you're driving piece off, piece of shit. <laughs> you're riding off. It's like yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> she didn't say it loud enough for you to hear it. She's just, I'm a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. All right. Hashtag piece of shit. <laughs> this guy. This guy like made me so many, made me feel right. 
Um, so the name of the phobia of being without mobile phone coverage was coined five years ago after research discovered the phenomenon. According to recent surveys, that's not that funny. Um, according to recent surveys, more than half of the people in the UK suffer from it. The phobia is brought on by fear of losing signal, running out of battery, or even losing sight of their mobile phone. If you're if you have an expensive ass phone, I get that. And if you're out in the woods and you're lost, I get that. Yeah. But otherwise, if you're just hanging out around your house, it's not that big of a deal. The guy is over there carving up phones right now with his chainsaw. I wonder if he's outside or if he's doing it inside. He's got a chainsaw. What? <laughs> I said he's got a chainsaw. What? <laughs> um, ombrophobia is a fear of rain. Look who's on the phone. I'm looking at someone a phobia. <laughs> um, ombrophobes have the abnormal fear of rain, which can cause severe anxiety attacks. It is thought to be triggered by a number of factors, including the fact that children are often told not to go out in the rain because it'll make them ill. Rain is also associated with depression. I've, I've, I'm happy. I'm only I'm happy, happy when, when it rains. rains. I'm only happy. I have, uh, I have ergophobia. What? Ergophobia. It's the fear of work or functioning. <laughs> Oh, we I know some people that have that, but I don't think that's No, true. you're just big. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. I, dude, I have the same thing. I'm just fat. <laughs> like, <laughs> Keep going, Allie. This is a waste of time. sad face phobia. Uh, this one's called Papa phobia. Papa. It's <laughs> Afraid of your gram cramp. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually fear of the Pope. The, I fear the Pope. The Pope or... <laughs> Let's get topical for a minute here. Uh, the Pope or the papacy is uncommon. It is closely related to <coughs> heterophobia, the fear of holy individuals or sacred things. It is related to hagio or hagiophobia, which is the exaggerated, exaggerated or irrational fear or dislikes of saints or holy things. The fear is often triggered by a trauma associated with the Pope. <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, now you use your noodle. <laughs> oh man, food sounds so good. We don't work here. We don't speak work here, man. Into the, speak into the microphone. I can't hear you. Are you serious? I can't hear you. Do you have water? <laughs> Just the ones we're drinking, man. Here, we don't work here. Here, fucking have one. Here, here, that's not been opened yet. You can have that. There you go. Yeah, I only, yeah, I that's only your put it up. Gift. I put it on my phone. No, huh? this is a Don't Look Under the Bed podcast. Don't look at what? Don't look under the bed. <laughs> don't look at what? Play. What? <laughs> microphone. How do you play? It's a podcast. <laughs> you never, do you listen to podcasts? No. Oh, do you know what a podcast is? Keep moving. I, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know what a podcast is. What's, okay, go ahead. All right, so what do I do? What do you want me to say? Talk in the microphone. Talk in the mic. Yeah. Well, we're talking like, about phobias, man. Yeah, what do you, you guys, guys have afraid any phobias? of? No, I'm not scared of anything. I'm fearless. <laughs> I don't oh. fucking believe that for one second. No, I am. I, I'm fearless. <laughs> I, I wasn't uh, scared the entire thing. Okay. What's the phobia fear of looking yeah. like a wuss? No, I, it was not scared. <laughs> are you scared? That's you, because that's all I could see. It was too dark. Know. Are you scared of girls? No. Okay. I think he's gay. I'm oh, not. Hey. I'm not gay. It's okay. I'm not it's gay. It's okay. This is the nineties. <laughs> um, what uh, are you guys just here for the haunted house then? Yeah. I thought you like standing in lines and asking people for water, but <laughs> are you just that thirsty? You just couldn't yeah. fucking handle it? I'm diabetic and my blood sugar's high. Uh, oh dude. shoot. So water uh, takes care of that? <laughs> no. Well, it just helps. Oh, uh, okay. So if I have ketones, I won't Where's your insulin? It's in my bag. Okay. You fucking use it. I already did. Uh, don't die. I just went for it just <laughs> I don't have an apple or anything. Can, you can eat an apple, right? Not when my blood sugar's I'll high. Take the apple. Oh, it's the other way around, right? <laughs> I don't know about your blood sugar's I don't, I don't high. Have here, have a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he suggested killing you. <laughs> it is almost Halloween, however. Have you guys been in this haunted house before? Yeah, we were just in. Oh, you did go in? Did yeah. you like it? Yeah. yeah. Was it scary? Well, I mean, I wasn't scared at all. Yeah. Well, that guy's not scared, and now you're scared. not. Are you scared of anything? I didn't go in. Yeah, he, he was too he scared. Pussied out. He pussied out. He pussied out. At least he manned up and said something, though. He no, I wasn't scared. I was leading them through. I wasn't scared either. You were in the back clenching onto her. Yeah. Okay, that's all I could see. You guys pushed me in the back and told me I was in the back. <laughs> I wanted to be in the front. He okay. Peed. Well, I mean, I'm scared of a lot of things. Why don't you go What's your phobia? I'll take your spot. I don't like I don't like haunted houses. Are you because serious? Because I don't like them. They're they're cramped and someone's always pushing me. I don't. What's your guys' phobia? I'm scared of being burned to death. 
Buried of alive. What? Burned to death. No. What's yours? I don't like uh, a lot of stuff, man. But <laughs> I don't care mostly, if I'm burned to death. I'm a. I don't want to drown. It's a good thing you um, float. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a I'm scared that if I pass out from a seizure with my diabetes, Jesus. I won't wake up. You fucking just dampered the whole night. <laughs> you just can't, I mean, just smile. You've got your whole life ahead of you. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm I I'm take a, anxiety meds. I'm afraid of children. I am. I'm afraid of children. He is. I just turned 15. That guy's crossing his eyes. I know. But that's why I'm saying, like, look at it. He's going to have a fucking heart attack. His one's got diabetes, and the other one's got some cross-eyed shit. <laughs> Well, it was nice talking to you all. Yep. Say hi to your... Yeah. Hey, man. Your, your girl's going to leave you for seeing someone on the side. No. Because <laughs> of your eyes, they were crossed. Do you get it? Move along. <laughs> Bye, hey, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank Have you. fun. Like, driving home. <laughs> be driving with the on out. Bye. I love how you... What's that guy You guys eating? got some water. <laughs> That's fucking great. I'm afraid I'm going to die. I wanted, we did. I wanted to give we him a soda. We gave the diabetic a water. I'd be like, it's diet. <laughs> Hands across America. Now he's asking for food. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he ran across the street. Can I get a cigarette? Yeah, nobody said the Dolling on the Bed 37. podcast <laughs> was not charitable. I was like, here, just take it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fucking, you're in Council Bluff. Someone's going to ask you for something. Um, <laughs> I thought somebody's behind me. No. <laughs> Hello? Just the skull. Oh, that guy. Uh, this one's called Uranophobia. It's a fear of heaven. Suffers of uranophobia, fear of the sky and the afterlife, and it can be triggered by religious believers who fear the idea that they will be judged afterlife. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you that. You have this. I'm not afraid of that. You have this. That's why you are an atheist, because you have this fear. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to cool it up. Yeah, because if it's one thing I believe in, it's heaven. This is a busy ass haunted house. This is nice to see all these folks out here. I couldn't hear you over that gigantic sound of the truck. I want that truck. That was um, a moped. Me, me, me. Here, Daniel, this is for you. It's okay. turophobia. It's a fear of cheese. No. God, no. <laughs> I love cheese. Uh, cheese is the best, except for Swiss. How about fear of running out of cheese? Oh, oh my God. I do that could every day. Could you imagine? Oh, if I go to that fridge at work and there's no cheese in there, there's no cheese I will flip the fuck out. I've never out. seen it without cheese sticks. I I if you okay. could see it, you'll see Dan's apartment, and then it goes like to a big aerial shot, but you can still see in the apartment. He's going... <laughs> And then there's like a sad violin playing. <laughs> uh, sufferers of turophobia usually associate cheese with a traumatic memory. From cheddar to mozzarella, turophobes often have to run away if they so much as see a slice of cheese. The way you said that, from cheddar to mozzarella. <laughs> Churro. So you sounded like Guy Fieri when he's introducing uh, foods. I have spiky hair. At this at this juncture, and for 49 years, I like they've been Fieri. making cheese. A lot of people make fun of him. Uh, some may fear that the type of cheese, while others fear cheese altogether. Mm, cheese. Cheese. I don't feel our fear of the cheese. Fuck no. Don't fear oh, the cheeser. Uh, what? Who said that? Is that a child? It's those kids. I don't, like, I don't like children. Um, I don't like the children. Get away! <laughs> Xanthophobia is a fear of the color yellow. Sufferers of xanthophobia may fear anything yellow, including the sun, daffodils, and yellow paint. I don't like yellow, period. I do. I have a, a gross new color. fucking fear of freezing my fat ass off. I offered to get your coat, and you said your truck's right over there. I'm just truck's right over there. In its most aggressive form, xanthophobia symptoms may include overwhelming fear of even the phrase yellow. Oh, see, I just think uh, yellow is just an ugly color. Then, then like you better never call B. Yellow. 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 Uh, This is Vance's fear. Colrophobia, fear of clowns. Colrophobia is relatively common phobia and usually present in children according to various surveys. It's more of an uncomfortable feeling than an actual fear. Especially Um, when they touch me. The scary clown has often been used in pop culture. For example, the former Joker in Batman comics and film adaptations. Colorphobia has some celebrity sufferers. Namely, Daniel Radcliffe and Johnny Depp. <coughs> That's weird. Harry Potter's afraid of clowns. That's weird. Yeah, because he always plays like cool villainous parts. Okay. 
<laughs> Dan's no, you're got a clown. A, Dan's got a picture of the Joker up in his dining room, and I looked at him and was like, "Is that the clown from It?" And he's like, "You fucking piece of shit." <laughs> that's right. That's a neat. That's a neat painting, and I believe that I picked where it went. I can't but... mention who painted that, but it's an ex girlfriend, and she hates me now. She fucking hates me. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, Deb said of his fear of clown or clown fear, it's impossible to thanks to their painted on smiles to just wish if they're happy or if they are about to bite your face off. <laughs> uh, there's a clown running. There's two clowns running around yeah. here right now. Uh, uh, straps and. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Strap. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Stinks. And then you had to smell his armpit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, he smells. Daniel had to smell his armpit last time we were here, and we we're doing like Smelled a promo like a shoot. Hole. No, 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 no. Let me tell the fucking story because oh. it's it's easy, it still easy. makes me angry. So we're sitting out here. We're gonna promo this pro- this haunted house along with this podcast, and we're in front of the fence here where all the people line up. And the clown comes out, and I said, "Hey, we're gonna do a little promo work. Would you like to be in on it?" And he goes, "Yeah, sure." Yeah. In his in his clown voice, and I said, "Okay." And we're rolling, and then we start, and I'm just making stuff up on the spot. You know, and then he pits his armpit near my face, and I stuck my nose in to smell it, and got a big whiff of vinegar, and I was immediately wanted to vomit. And then I said, "Did we get that?" And Vance goes, "No," (laughs) and I wanted to fucking punch everybody involved. Do you think that's on purpose? I sure it was. Okay. No, didn't your finger just slip and then just turned it off or something? No, 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 no. The smell. Oh, that, yeah, that made me laugh. No, do you think the smell is on purpose? Of course, or? of course. Oh. <laughs> He's he knows, shaking his head He no, knows guys. who he is. <laughs> he'll know who he'll you come running are. around clowns here are, somewhere. Clowns are weird because, I know we've talked about it before, I'm not afraid of, like, scary clowns. I'm afraid of clowns. fucking happy clowns. Bozo the clown? There's nothing wrong with them. Keep that them. fucker away from me. I, he did it for the kids. He did it for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> I understand why he did it, and... That he's not malicious or in any way he's harmful good dude. or threatening. I'm sure he is a great guy, but he scares the f- shit out of me. Do you I like think how that's you didn't that? say fucking, but you said shit. Shit. <laughs> as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> that needs smoking. Um, <coughs> do you think that's where it's Beer Pong dick. came from? Was the Bozo the Clown Grand Prize game? The what? Beer Pong. Like the idea of it came from the Bozo the Clown Beer Pong game? Of course it fucking did. <laughs> I love that game, especially I when they're sitting there and they're like, and they toss it in. He's like, he almost, so there's he's like, he almost got it. And you know, he nowhere. wants to punch them across the I know. Literally, <laughs> He's like, you guys can't do this any better. There's literally a dick behind me blowing cigarette smoke at us. Oh, it's great. Um, What's wrong? Nothing. What are you looking at down there? I, was, I just heard something over there and I oh. looked. We're in a graveyard in yeah, the middle of the line, graveyard. so we're, we're hearing shit left There's tonight. tombstones behind us. There's tombstone pizzas behind us. <laughs> I wish. I would eat them motherfuckers up. He looks like the guy from Midnight Oil. <laughs> from what? It's time to pay the rent. Anyway, keep you going, know, Allie. I don't even know what you just said. Time oh, has stop. come <laughs> to pay the rent. <laughs> You never heard that song? Is that a song? How do we live in the world? Oh, okay. Let's just fucking like it. Keep going now. Um, here's one for comments. Vance and Daniel. <laughs> okay. Oops, I did that backwards. Fear Vance of being and... apart. Well, I'm in the middle. <laughs> that's not my fear. I thought that was your and Brandon's fear. Yeah, um, that's your and Brandon's. Pog- Pog- Pogonophobia is a fear of beards. The term has uh, been used since the 1850s to describe (laughs) a strong fear of beards. Earlier this month, presenter Jeremy Paxman accused the BBC of suffering from um, pognophobia after he was criticized for presenting Newsnight with the beard. What? Yeah, I never heard of that before. Well, my fear that has to do with beards is the fear of running out of... Big Dobbs beer. That's ball. right, ladies and gentlemen. It's Big Dobbs beer ball. He sells a high V now. I know. And somebody walked up That's to me amazing. and said, "Oh, you got some of the stuff." I'm like, "I fucking ate that shit." That's how much I love it. <laughs> and they walked away promptly. They just Literally ate fucking it? stuff. They're like, "I'm not talking to you anymore." He ate it. it. Dan ate it. <laughs> I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I immediately went, ah. <laughs> "But it, it, it tastes as good as it smells." <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I do use it in my beard though, especially when it gets all. I don't. I have a big, shitty beard. Big Dove's beard condiments. 
<laughs> put it on your hot dogs. I put it on my hamburgers and it tastes like <laughs> the sun. I replaced it with for my mayonnaise and I've lost 10 pounds. <laughs> In the What's this made out of? Pure eggshell. <laughs> Num nums. Got little holes in it. I put fart in my. He doesn't make that. He makes good beer bombs. So yeah, anyway, he, does. DB's, he makes wonderful DB's beer. It smells good. It's, Big job. Uh, Big job. Then he beer. puts it in his beard and then brushes oh. his beard with my hairbrush and then brushes the cat with my hairbrush. <laughs> so by the time I get it, everything smells like sweet tobacco, so which is a good scent. Do you guys also share the curling iron and the straightener and the toilet paper? <laughs> he wipes first and then I wipe. And then it's just we like to save money. <laughs> It's like the it's like that thirteenth warrior movie where they're all going down the Viking line and they use the same bowl, each person, and they're oh. all fucking spitting in it and Natalie shit. Natalie and I do share a hair straightener. Why would I you was telling a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you did. It wasn't funny. That it was, was funny. If you have it, for, for listeners out there <laughs> get a hold of us out this. <laughs> this fucking guy. Um anyway, so uh keep going, Alan. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Um, I don't know how You're to fine. say this one, but it's that word. Uh, that's at. Oh. Triskaid kaphobia. Triskaid kaphobia. That's fear of little crackers, triscuits. <laughs> no, I do no. not fear those. No. Oh my god. You know, I like those club crackers. Um, oh my god. That's a fear of the number 13. Many people are superstitious about number 13, but few have been f- have a fully fledged phobia. It is closely associated with the fear of the Friday the 13th. Sufferers take great care to avoid or doing anything related to the number. Um, That's alright, we can keep it rolling. How many are we at? Oh, we're I'm at page three of eight. Are you fucking serious? Uh, yeah, I thought we were doing longer today. No, it's it fine. We can, it's show. Totally what time is it? Uh, it's right now hour. it's 9 eight. Central time. Okay, so we've been going for an hour? Yeah. We're, we're fine. The listeners will It's a care. live show, so I figured we we're going to go longer. We're live out here. <laughs> we are live. Not, we're not sex live. of wax. <laughs> we are at a fucking liar. There he is. living people, but we are not live. I can see his Napoleon face right there. <laughs> like Napoleon. He, guys, he was, this guy, he's this gonna guy, get that this kid looked like a heavier Napoleon. <laughs> yeah, he walked up and I went, gosh. <laughs> he's like, he yeah, went, I get that all the time. You know, my name's Eric. I'm like, yeah, whatever, Napoleon. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to be mean to children. Get your own tots. <laughs> Um, this one's called gelotophobia or gelotophobia. I like gelato. I do too. Uh, the fear of being laughed at. These consequences That's include, not my fear. No, that's not me either. The social withdrawal to avoid being ridiculed, appearing cold as ice or humorless. I'm cold, cold as ice as right as now. Psychosomatic. Dis- I could say no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. Blushing, tension, headaches. Uh, trembling, dizziness, sleep disturbances, demonstrating Pinocchio syndrome. syndrome. Oh, we know some Pinocchio. I'm motherfucker. afraid of my nose. Uh, clumsy. Uh, it's a good song like, from Our Lady Wooden Peace. puppet appearance, lack of liveliness, spontaneity and joy, inability to experience humor, laughter is relaxing and joyful social experiences, and anger when being laughed at by other people. In some cases, results in violent attacks on people who were laughing. <laughs> So this is not stand-up comedians. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, they do not have that. And there you go. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then there you go. Um, Allurophobia is the irrational fear of cats. I don't know who has that. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck has that. Have you seen our snuggles? I love my kitty. Oh my god, she is precious. That's a fucking kitty. It's a great um, kitty. Oh. For most people, it's less about fear than about Jesus. loathing. Similar to the reaction many people have to rats or snakes. Some people experience it almost all the time. Others just in response to direct stimuli. Some possible situations that can trigger loathing of cats are hearing or purring, seeing a cat in real life, imagining the possibility of a cat touching or rubbing against one, uh, the thought of meeting a cat in a dark, in the dark, <laughs> in an alley with a knife. <laughs> Give me your wallet. The cats are in like this little... Little greaser gang. Yeah. Sananuts. Oh my god, could you imagine our kitties in a little gang like that? They got like little rolled up cigarettes in their sleeves. Aww. <laughs> Guys. Oh, we're doing a Tenebrae's got little uh, fingerless gloves. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tenebrae's at home tonight, everyone. He's man in the fort. My I cat, love him. My cat would just fall me around. Yeah, she'd be like, meow, 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 meow. I would like lay on her side and then go on her belly so you can rub her and then rub her off. Oh, um, 
cats in pictures and on television or cat like toys or cat like fur. Oh, okay. So this is kind of similar. It's called zoophobia. Look at the a- bus driver. <laughs> He came out and raised his hands up and was dying laughing and was as kids were being huddled out like the trail of tears from a fucking haunted house, dude. Who was doing that? The fucking the bus, bus driver. driver. He was he just threw his hands up in glee. I think that's the first happy moment he's had all day. Yeah, that's a lot of kids. He's like fucking kids. This guy's out here with like twenty <laughs> kids. Damn little motherfucker. Dude, when we were setting up, I want us to know if we were recording at that point, but he was yelling at all, all the children, get over here! Go over here. That's a lot of kids to wrangle. I wonder what they're with. Look at him go. He's got his tiny ass backpack. That's a little backpack. It looks like a cooler. Cold cooler. He swings it around. He's like, he's got Capri Suns. I'm like, oh, I want one bad. Bring it over here. We gave away our water. Can we have a Capri Sun? Um, Okay, zoophobia is a fear of animals. A class of specific phobias to particular animals or an irrational fear or even simply dislike of non human animals. Non human so silent. It did. What happened? Somebody uh, farted. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isotrophobia is a fear of mirrors or seeing a reflection in a yep, mirror. That's me. Mirror. I don't like looking in the mirror. I don't either. I don't like what I see. <laughs> I couldn't get through that. Damn it. I'll just do it. Later. Okay, keep going. Um, em- emotophobia is a fear of vomiting. Yep, yep. What? <laughs> It causes overwhelming intense anxiety uh, pertaining to vomiting. The specific phobia can also include subcategories of what causes anxiety, including the fear of vomiting in public or fear of seeing vomit, a fear of watching the action of vomiting, or a fear of being nauseated. <laughs> if if you don't see me puke, you'll hear it. Oh, he is the loudest <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, in the I'm a loud West. Puke too. We talked about this it's, little podcast. It's, yeah, it's it's it deadly is loud. Re- it's almost comical. I can't help it. I really I'm can't. Like, is that for real? Like the first time I heard, I'm like, "Are you being serious?" Not that I puke a lot. No, I no. really. I think the bigger you are, the more heaving you have. Because no, I'm being serious. Natalie, stop fucking looking at him like that. No, I was being serious because I'm the same I way. You I know I'm the same way. I I think it's because you have more room for your muscles to tense up, and it creates a bigger heave. I think that's why. But I've always been a loud puker, and I've never not always been. Bad. I hurt after I puke. Yeah, like everything too. hurts. Yeah. And I, I just, agree. I mean, I feel better, but at the same time, I'm like, oh no. Natalie's like, oh. <laughs> technical difficulties. That's a technical foul. <laughs> Sorry, guys, my microphone just about slid off the table. Eric's gotta be fucking freezing with his kilt on. He says he's never really cool with that. All winter can wear it. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Here, I'll read while you're. The clowns are screaming. So we're on. uh, We're on our next one here. Onirophobia, fear of dreams. The fear involves suffering due to experiences with frightening dreams, nightmares, and/or night terrors, or by negative events in the life affecting those dreams. Some sufferers try to avoid sleep or falling asleep altogether. Those. Those with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, for instance, often re-experience their trauma and nightmares so frequently that they attempt to avoid these painful symptoms through alcohol or drugs. Sleep itself is feared for its capacity to bring on the repressed trauma. However, not all onreophobia... Is it one onreophobia? It is strictly a function of post-traumatic stress disorder, as most dream content, and thus the fear of its manifestation, is related to the daily functions of the unconscious. In traditional Freudian thought, the dreamer channels their way the dreamer channels their thoughts, feelings, and desires and fears through dreams. But in a disguised and non-rational way. When these dreams are recalled and experienced as disturbing events, especially if they are a frequent reoccurrence, the dreamer may begin to develop anxiety over the expression of their unconscious. Many sufferers also may be may be frightened by the unusual or surreal nature of dreams, and almost none of that got on tape because of the fucking bus that just pulled up. Yeah, there's up. a bus that just pulled up. But, Everybody uh, on the bus! Get the fuck on the bus! It was that damn Sam Swanch. Oh, man, he <laughs> stole 30 sack lunches. Who would steal 30 sack lunches? I just love how he's That laughing. Veronica Vaughn is one piece of face. Why did he say ace and not ass? I don't ace. know. Because it's Chris Farley. He can say whatever he fucking wants. That's true. Okay. Uh, Ancrophobia is the extreme fear of wind or drafts. 
It is rather uncommon and can be treated. It has many different effects on the human brain. It can cause panic attacks for those who have fear. It can make people miss out on regular everyday activities, such as going outside. Yeah, I get, I get that irritated with the yeah. wind, but I know it's like we need it. But when we're trying to do something outside and it's windy, I get That's right. mad because I eat my hair. Yeah, yeah. Wind and giraffes. <laughs> you don't like giraffes? Oh, drafts. Giraffes. Oh, I think you said giraffes. I'm I like, did. what's wrong with them? Yeah, I like giraffes. <laughs> they eat slow and they have long necks. And they're cute. You can feed them with the zoo. It's a zoo. The zoo. The zoo. The zoo. Um. Compon- Componophobia. I'm not saying any of this shit right, but we're used to that by now. Is a fear of buttons. <laughs> buttons. Componophobia, probably. Component. Button. Sure. Yeah. Uh, coprof- coprophobia <laughs> in Copa human. Cabana. <laughs> At the Copa. Hey. Jesus and yeah. In humans, the altitude or the attitude to um, feces and defecation has oh. become a horrible <laughs> taboo. In the animal world, grazing all animals avoid feces when grazing. Primates also prefer to forage away from feces in contaminated areas. The aversion is believed to be a strategy to avoid infection. Weird. Uh, Ferretrophobia is a fear of coffins. Uh, Globophobia is a fear of balloons. The source of the fear may be the sound of balloons popping. Generally, they will refuse to touch feel or go near a balloon and it will pop so okay small story when my friend got married for the first time he ended up going hey i'm gonna go on my honeymoon and my friends were like do you want to balloon his house when he's on honeymoon and i said yeah because we we ballooned each other before it's where you take a bunch of balloons and you fill as many as you can in their apartment that's what you do so while we're doing it i'm we're filling them up the hell was that? I think it's your buddies. Yeah, probably. Um, but uh, while we're filling them up, though, his dad came back. <laughs> was what do you think that was them? Yeah, it was them. Okay. Um, but while they while they were in the while they're on their honeymoon, we balloon their house, and we're filling them the balloons with glitter. We're filling balloons with other balloons, like balloons on top of balloons. And we did all this, and over the course <laughs> of them being on on in their in their honeymoon. They were popping everywhere and leaving glitter all over the floor. So anyway, they we come they come back from their honeymoon and like two days later. I get a call from or like that day I get a call from his wife and he goes, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> and I was like, "Gotcha," you know, like ha ha. And she goes, "You understand I have a fear of balloons, right?" And I was like, "Oh, no, you don't." And she goes, "Yes, I fucking do." And I am so mad at you guys. She was. Furious to the point where he, she almost divorced him for it, and so Matt goes. There's a small child. He's the cutest little kid. He's got his little phone. Hi. Oh, I need the music. We're doing a podcast. Hi. <laughs> we ask ourselves that same question all the time. Oh, no? No, he's been in it. Oh, he has? Oh, yeah. Wow. Are you scared of it? No. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> he won't go in it. He's scared. Nope. Won't go in it. I like your glasses. When I got them for a glasses store. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. He's like, yeah, he's, duh. How old are you? Oh, he's, he's zero four. Oh, he's four. Okay. Oh, you are too cute. Good job, kiddo. Enjoy being young while you can. Yeah. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you. Hey, thanks for stopping and talking to us. So anyway, they come back from the honeymoon, and he's like, "What the fuck did you guys do?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "You filled the bo- fucking the whole apartment with balloons. They're popping everywhere." And he goes, "My wife has a fear of balloons. You understand that, right?" I'm like, "No, she does. This is bullshit." She almost fucking divorced him over it. And oh. we had to go over and clean it up. It was awful. That may not have been a bad thing at that point. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, let me do one more. And then I think our batteries dying. Sure. We're dying out here. Um, and so we'll we'll wrap this pig up. So chromophobia is a fear of colors. 
so that's just color general. I have more, but you know what? We'll just make this a two-parter, and we'll do it back at the uh, back at the nest. Let's do it back at the headquarters. Yeah, back <laughs> at the headquarters. <laughs> do you love headquarters? We're gonna hit a battery. All right. Well, I wanted to thank, and let's play the soft violin music. I want to thank. <laughs> it's the it's like the end of the SNL episode. Da 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 da. It was really great do, being do, on here today. Do, do, do. I want to thank um, Madness We're Haunted House. each other on the back. Yeah, like, like we fucking did it. Yeah, I was thinking it, and then I said it. Um, I want to thank Madness Haunted House for having us out here in their little. Yeah, they were awesome. Thank you. I want to thank accommodating and fun. I want the people walking out of here look really scared. Yeah, so if you hear this, they're going to be going on through November as well. So into no to November, not through November. Oh, okay, sorry. November first. November first. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you can but get VIP fast passes and. They'll be here next year. Passes. Tell so, them we sent you. If they're here next year, maybe we will be too. And I would like to thank each and every listener out there. You know who you are yeah. because you listen. Um, hey, Vance. Yeah, Dan. How can people get a hold of us, get us money and stuff? They can drive to the Mall of the Bluffs. <laughs> we take cash right here. Yep, we don't <laughs> fucking take it right. I got to pay rent. I, I will. <laughs> um, they can get a hold of us by going to our website, don'tlookunderthebed.net, clicking on the Contact Us link. Uh, also, we have a direct email. It's uh, don't look under the bed podcast at gmail.com. We're at Twitter at DLUTB. We're also Facebook at don't look under the bed podcast. Uh, our Patreon site yep. is Patreon slash DLUTB. Uh-huh. And our we have the PayPal me link don't look under the bed at gmail or no don't look under the bed podcast at gmail.com. And we're going to be making some changes to a lot of our stuff, a lot of our uh, online presence. Online is presence is completely different. change up um, for the new year. It's yeah, for we're going to get things going for the new year, and then uh, once you hear from us after Christmas break, I'm assuming it's uh, it's it, it's easier to get motivated to do that stuff because we're getting more listeners. Yeah, we are, and, I, and again, I want to thank each and every fucking every one. one God of damn you, it, man. you guys are the best. We would love to hear your more emails, though. I would love to see more of those come through. And, let us um, know if you like the whole uh, video podcast because yeah. we'll start putting those on YouTube. Not every time, but periodically. Yeah, and if you guys want to write to us to just to call us, you know, pieces of shit, that's fine too. Yeah, that's fine. Um, again, thank you again for everybody listening. Once again, this is Don't Look Under the Bed podcast, podcast for all things comedy horror. And once I'm one of your cold hosts, Dan Warner. Next to me is Natalie Rose. Next to her is Chili Vinny. And we Chili are out of here. Bye. Bye.